Do you have an 07 Tucson that needs front brakes, but you can't figure out how to do it? No? Oh well, let's take a look at it anyway. All right guys, so this is Kevin here with Yerkut Racing. Uh, we're back out here for another one today. Got some maintenance to do on my little scoot about. Um, Got to put some front brakes on it. They got so they're grinding. Eh, hopefully we won't have to put uh, any extra parts on it due to my failure to address the problem sooner. Um, I'm thinking we're just going to do pads and rotors. We'll see how it goes. But anyway, we're going to jump right in. All right, so you jack it up, you get the wheel off, get your 14 millimeter. We're going to take the two bolts out. This is much more difficult with the camera in the way. Um, but yeah, we're just going to take the 14 millimeters and get these out and show you from there. In the outside with the piston like the caliper outside part of the caliper with the piston will come out I'll show you what we'll do with that in a minute for now we'll set that to the side grab our 17 uh, that's gonna make me want to get an extension for this All right, so we got the 14 millimeter bolts out of there. We're gonna go with the 17s now. Knock both of these loose. Hopefully I can get on there. There we go. So there is the root of our noise, all of our grinding. Uh, it's done a number on the back of the rotor. Uh, luckily it doesn't appear to have gotten into any calipers and into the calipers at all, so I think we're in good shape there. But we are definitely past due on that service, so that is my fault. We will get another set of those and be back in a moment. Alright guys, so next up we have these two screws here that you have to get out. Now, you don't necessarily have to take and heat them up, but I certainly prefer to. Um, I've had these things get really stuck in there where you round them off and then you know you're really fighting yourself to get them back out. So, take the extra precaution, put a little heat on them to start with, let's get it right the first time. There we 
go. Ah. That's why we use heat guys, that thing was completely seized inside of there and I mean the heat just spun it out like butter. We're using the impact screwdriver on it and everything and I mean it wouldn't break it loose trying to strip it out. A little bit of heat and we're right there with it. So. There again, a little bit of heat they come right out. Now we're going to throw our bracket back on. Bring you guys back around the other side. So we're going to throw this bracket here back on. Alright, so we got that tightened now. So there we just snap the one end on that side. Same deal on that side. Now we are ready for the caliper. I gotta grab the uh the tube to open this up. So that slides down in there just like your brake pads would, and then it ratchets back and forth. All right, and then once you get a little snow, you can just start ratcheting, and it's going to push the piston back out. back up. All right. Now we got that open. 
got our bleeder tightened back up and ready we can slide this assembly back over here and we'll run our two bolts back in it so that's it guys we got the brakes back on got everything um, we got to get everything cleaned up we got some brake cleaner and then we'll go grab that and shoot it on it we got to do the other side too and then after we're done with that we'll just um, hit the gas hit the brake pedal a few times to make sure that the um, calipers are pushed back out and tight to the piston and we'll double check our fluid level uh, bleed in the air if we need to but uh, basically that's it for the install um, We'll throw the wheel back on and do the other side and we'll be done guys but i appreciate y'all following along uh comment like and subscribe we'll see you on the next one